It's going to be Mark Davis to break. Paul Collier is the referee. Graham Dott is actually the world number 16. It's usually the Masters is usually for the top 16, but uh, the world champion seeded second automatically. That was Ronnie O'Sullivan, who was outside the 16 because he didn't play much last year. So Dot was a little unlucky really to miss out on the Masters. I'm sure he didn't particularly enjoy having to watch it at home. They've enjoyed that one, well, certainly the pot, but uh, didn't get position. Graham Dot, one. Well, let's put him bang in here. It's about as bad as it could have finished for Mark Davis to give uh, Graham Dot this immediate chance to One. score. Yes, Dot world champion in 2006 and also twice runner-up. 2004 and 2010. He's had his problems... Uh, Eight. Since winning the title, was diagnosed with depression, tumbled down the rankings a little, but uh, he's always dangerous, that's for sure, and always determined. Nine. Very confident start this from Dot. He's really going for his shots. Hasn't played in this event every year by any means, but he's back in it this season. Looking for some good match practice. Just got into that a little bit too much, which is why the white's finished where it is, but uh, you'd still expect him to pop this blue, and the reds have opened up, so good chance this for Graham Dot to win this opening frame.
Well, they call him the pocket dynamo. 38. Such an aggressive competitor on the table. He's Dot. Very good pressure player. 39. Hence uh, those three crucible finals that I mentioned. 48. Ice break 73. 44 against Matthew Stevens. He won that one in just uh, 39 minutes earlier on today. 3-0. That seemed like a kick. 45. Sounded like one. <coughs> it's just uh, taking the pace out of the cue ball. So he's asking the referee to clean it, but uh, it's a bit late. He's already had the kick. Still on the pink. It's a little trickier than it should have been. He was playing for the blue, but... Uh, he gets on here. Well, he's missed it by a mile. So the kick uh, certainly had an effect Brown there. Brown Dot breaks down on 45. His lead 46. Yes, he never looked comfortable on that. He took a long time Mark Davis, six. before playing it, and he has missed it. Ice break this morning, 32 in losing 3-2 to Sean Murphy, so it wasn't too enjoyable. And Graham Dot here weighing up the plant to get back in. He's already leading by 40 in the frame. It's got to be made if he's taking it on. They're not to... Too close together, these two reds. Ah, well done. Again, aggressive, positive, looking for a chance to win the frame, and he's given himself every chance now. <coughs> it's really red colour, red after the green. That's another kick. That's another kick, it sort of did him in last time and it's happened again. Killed the white, so again, harder red than he would have liked. Four. <coughs> so a little bit of pressure on this because uh, once again, it's the key to him winning the frame. That's nicely done, because it wasn't his fault, the kick. So, this pink and one more red, and it should be 1-0 to Graham Dot.
Mark Davis had a chance, but just uh, missed that awkward red Graham dot. Isn't turning much down when he gets a look in. Missed that one. Well, he may play on. It's three snookers. Yeah, on the frame. Well, he had to think about it, Mark Davis, but he's decided not to. So the first frame goes to Scotland's Graham Dot. Well, a full, full blooded attempt. He wants the red to run safe. He's looking anxiously at the table. It's not. I think he can pot this. Ah, well, it's tight, isn't it? Just with a trace aside, maybe. Oh, we tried to, but uh, didn't really get too close. And I think the red at the bottom of the cluster will pot to this right corner. Well, obviously not. Just a safety. Cracking pot. There's only red that was sticking what? out. And further evidence that if there's something on, anything on, Graham Dot's going to take it on. Refused nothing in the first frame, and again there. Saw the long red and knocked it in. Now then, what does he do here? The standard shot is to just play the snooker, but uh, the mood he's in, who knows, he might take the green on. <laughs> Looks like he is. And another cracking shot. And uh, in taking this red, he's going to disturb some more. Four. A man on a mission here, Dotty. Five. So he's got four or five reds in the open. Another scoring opportunity here in frame two for Graham Dot. Well, he's hit it a bit hard, to say the least. The white's gone careering wow. up the table. Left himself a much tougher red than he wanted to. And uh, he's not taking anything on. So just 12. But a pretty good safety, good length on the cue ball. This is, of course, a league. Seven players, so they each play six matches. We're only in the early stages here. This is uh, the third set of matches. Even so, Mark Davis lost his first one, 3-0. He's just trying to get involved in the group, and that's not a great shot. Missed the lot. Dot, of course, has come into the match already having won a match, so he would have been feeling the better of the two, for sure. I've well, got to be careful here. He spotted a hair or something by the cue ball, but if he'd have touched that white, it would have been a foul. Could have just left it to the referee. Anyway, lining another one up here. Oh, that's so well cued. It really is. This is good stuff from Dot. He's not holding back at all. Didn't pot that one though. Graham Dot one.
Let me rest a little more. Eight. Nine. Well, Mark Davis has seen that anything Graham Dot is left, he'll take on, which puts him under a bit of pressure here. <coughs> you can't afford, really, to let any chance go begging. 14. Oh, that's another kick. Well, that's uh, three clunkers we've had in the match. White stopped, dead. And it's made this black awkward. Yeah, it just the kick just made that awkward, and Davis 15. he has missed it using the rest. Now then, he's not going to take this on. As I say, he's not refused much. <laughs> There's your answer. What a pot that is. One. And the mood is in, he may well try and split the cluster here. Well, in fact, that's another kick. He didn't play that shot, but uh, it's another kick. Well, it, I don't think cleaning the white's making any difference. The, it's just a bit of a struggle with conditions at the moment. Eight. Didn't seem to be like this in the previous match. Nine. Well, now he splits them. And how well have they split? Is he on the one to the right corner? That's what he's looking at. Fifteen. Well, it doesn't look like he is. <coughs> So just a safety. Graham Dot 15. Frame was all but over there if he did get on a red, but uh, have to wait for another chance.
Oh. Uh, that one didn't really threaten the pocket. Again, no sign of intent from Dot. If they're there, he's going to take them on. But uh, if you don't get them, that's the problem, because it's where they finish. And the chance is that you leave your opponents. And Mark Davis is in. Seven. Table looks pretty slow. They're kind of having to belt the wow. balls a bit. So he's two points in front. His black puts him seventeen in front. So we'll need the last two reds as well. Just looked a little anxiously at that, but he has got there. Thirty four. Dear, not close. Mark and not Davis happy, 34. clearly. That was a chance to win the frame, but still anyone, 17 points in it. Now then, will Dot take the long red on to the yellow pocket? The sort of ball he has been attempting in the match, although were he to miss, it would be uh, potentially letting his opponent in. So just a safety. Well, depends really where the cue ball finishes. It's not bad. Didn't mean to catch the blue there with the red, but even so, it's not finished too bad. <coughs> Avoided the double kiss. Needs the red to run, which it has done. Otherwise, he would have left it to the middle. Well, that's just plain unlucky. Mark Davis, six. That's just plain three unlucky, ball. knocking the pink in. It's a free ball, although that's not a lot of use to Davis. So he's going to put Dot in from where the cue ball has come to rest, and he's got to try and get the white safe here. 
Now that's not bad actually. Good cue ball. So this little safety battle could well now decide the destination of this frame. Could well be whoever puts the next red wins it. Davis, of course, has the advantage, 23 points in front, but there's not really anything safe, so if Dot was to get in, the mood he's been in, you'd fancy him to win the frame. Good grief, he hit that with some force. Nearly flew off the table. And it's run safe. It could have finished anywhere. It's run safe. They both need the two reds. Neil Robertson has won the second frame against Sean Murphy on table one. So one apiece in that one. Battle of uh, two former world champions there. Of course, Robertson, the current world number one. They've each won a match already. Robertson 3-0 over Judd Trump. Murphy 3-0 over Mark Davis, who's at the table here. This little safety battle still going on. It wriggles in. Only just, but it went in. So Graham Dot with the chance then for 2-0. <coughs> Pulls it 
put everything into that pot and as I say just dropped and in snooker just is enough it's funny you had all the kicks in this frame the players actually over lunch were discussing kicks and trying to come up with a version in a different sport and uh, one of the things they did come up with was the, the bounce out in darts He's unlucky, but uh, kicks are horrible when they come along. They just mess up position, sometimes cause a player to miss a pot. Now, he's wrong side of this blue, so he needs to avoid colours here. Well, can he see this deposit? Six. Even if he can, it's thin. Trails by 17. Well, he's overcut it. He could pot it. He's overcut it. Graham dot six. Well, it was a battle on the penultimate red. It's now a battle on the last red. And again, they'll uh, they'll both. That's the only awkwardly placed ball really on the table. Dot going for the snooker. I'm not quite sure he's got it. Oh, looks like he's forced Dot into moving this yellow. Unless he can just flick the red away coming off the cushion first. The bulk cushion, that is. I think that's what he's looking at. <laughs> Well, this has worked out pretty well for him. He's got the snooker. But that's what he played. He played to get the red away, trusting a little bit to look in terms of where everything finished, but uh, he'll certainly take that. Pretty easy hit, but again, Davis has got to try and get the red safe. And he's not done that. He's left a pot on. Or has he? Is it going to go to the cushion? Well... Didn't look like it would get there, did it? I think it still does cut, though. No. 
Well, it did, but it's not gone in. Yeah, the red just ran on in the shot Davis played, the snooker escape. Well, again, not in, but again, not leaving anything on. A bit clumsy, and Doctor just turning away, not happy. will be even less happy now because that's a cracking red from Davis. pink. No way getting on the yellow, so he's putting the pink safe, or trying to, because Doc will need it at the same time, trying to lay the snooker. Neither's quite come off. The pink could have been safer, and Dot, in fact, can see the yellow to hit it. But still no guarantee of getting this safe. Needs the yellow to run, and run behind the black, and this is pretty good. Well, he'll be happy enough with that. Again, the back heel was on, and he played it, but uh, this frame's still anyone's, 18 in it, 27 on. Lengthy frame now, this 29 minutes. Well, that's a cracking pot. Had to strike that so thinly, and he did. Two. So this green, and Graham Dot needs a snooker. He'd like the brown as well, but uh, must put everything in the pot in the green. Because, as I say, it is effectively frame ball. Four. 
Right. So it looks like 1-1. One, one. Davis nine on the front. Graham Doss, in fact, has conceded, so it's one apiece. Hard earned that half an hour of playing time in that frame, but Davis finally gets it on the board, so he levels with Graham Doss at one frame apiece. We don't see much turned down, frankly, in this match, so don't be surprised if he has a crack here. Particularly, it's got to be said from this man, Graham Dot. do particularly with the position Well, this Thank looks you. to be a promising opening for the Lark Hall man. But it's the usual problem. Eventually, you. he's got to get the reds open if he's going to make a frame-winning break. Oh, well, problem he had was the black was tied up, he was playing back down for the blue, missed the red, playing with pace. Just 24 made, it's not been a match of breaks so far, it's been a match of uh, scrapping about really.
clever shot. But uh, shouldn't be much danger for Dot as long as he just comes across uh, off the cushion and rolls up to the pack. Couldn't leave anything on that way. Touching ball. Well, a little stalemate here, I think. It's the red over the right middle that's causing this. Neither player wants to play the white down to bulk, of course, because he might leave it on. So, not much happening here. Just uh, rolling into the pack. Could be a re wrap depending on how long the players and the referee think they should go on for. Touching ball. Mark Davis playing the same shot. Touching ball. Touching ball called again by referee Paul Collier. Dot 24 nil up, so he won't want to re rack really. He's got a little lead. Well, it looks like he is going to play away here. This is dangerous. Needs the cover with the brown. It doesn't look like he's got it. Yeah, dangerous, and uh, it didn't work for Dot. He had to be pinpoint accurate there in terms of getting the snooker. He's left the red on, and Mark Davis is in in this third frame. Remember, he won the second frame half an hour long after Dot had took the first. Could free the black by taking the red above it. Six. A remarkable couple of years Davis has had. He's uh, in his early 40s now, but has had a really consistent couple of seasons. In fact, uh, starting last season, he'd never been in the semi-finals of a world ranking event, and then he appeared in the semis of the first two, and then the UK Championship as well. Beat John Higgins in that. Beat him in the World Championship first round. So things really happened for him last season. And uh, this season he's already retained his six Reds 14. world title that he's now won a total of three times. We're back this week at Crondon Park, of course, to the more traditional 15 Red game. Fifteen. That's not worked out, though. He's not on a colour. Cue ball is stuck to the pack. So it's end a break, and it's awkward queuing just to get to the black here. He's going to have to get all sorts of bits of equipment out to do that. This is the swan neck, that's what it's called. <coughs> Got to be so careful. <laughs> he can, yes, he's getting to the cue ball that's the problem. So easy to foul a red here. 
Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. Mark Davis, 15, Graham Dodd, 7. <laughs> well, all you could do is laugh. That was kind of coming, wasn't it? It was so hard to get to the cue ball, and he's managed to move them. Not a miss, by the way, so Paul Collier doesn't have to put them back. But the seventh, what, a, <laughs> what a shambles that was. <laughs> well, he was smiling. It's now kind of a grimace. It's the sort of thing you would do in a club and be embarrassed, but these are top professionals. Now then, can Dot take advantage? If, if nothing else, Mark Davis has opened the reds up there. Oh, but he's not potted it. And that was the thing, he had to take advantage. Well, it would be something if Davis eventually won the frame off that. But he's in. Well, it was a horror show, but uh, you might have the last laugh here. Dot suddenly isn't smiling in his seat. He's shaking his head now. Strange game, you know, he looked like he made a big mistake there, but uh, it could ultimately be to his benefit. Seven. You'd think it would be now, although there are those still awkward reds on the right-hand side cushion. Eighteen. Twenty five. So he's got himself in front by nine points, but uh, the hard work really about to start. As I say, those reds on the right side cushion, the one by the black as well. 26. Gonna have to get on one of them here. He's splitting them, or trying to, and this has worked out well, I think, unless he goes behind the blue. I think he's just about okay. 32. He's having a look. Well, can he see this red? If not, he's been unlucky. Well, he can. Just, but just will do. Thirty-three.
again trying to disturb the red. Well, this is a terrific shot. Well, great attempt anyway. 37. Leads by 21. We'll still need both reds. The other one at the moment is not possible. Now, can he just clip this in the middle? It would seem he can. Oh, well, he could, but he hasn't. So, okay, as I say, 21 in it. Two reds on, but still, Dot has the same problem of the safe red, even if he were to pot this one at some point. So, a cagey frame, this one. And the awkward queuing here over the green. Well, that's Andy. He's got him in behind the yellow. This is a good hit, I think. Well, that could have been disastrous because he's cannoned into the other red, but rather than scattering, they've kind of stayed close to where they were and no harm done. But uh, Doctor will breathe a sigh of relief there. Now, where's this red going? It's coming back up the table, needs the cover, which he's got. In fact, he's snooking him on both reds, I think. He might. Just well, no, he's coming off the cushion to play the red uh, just below the black spot or to the right of it. This looks a great shot. Oh, Five, just six, short, six. great line, Davis, but just short. Gotta be called a miss, so it's going back. And Davis's lead grows to 25 points. If he misses it this time. It means Davis would need red and a black or red and a pink. Dot would need a snooker on the last red. At the yep, moment, Davis needs both reds. Although, in fairness, they are both in a potable position in the middle of the table. Is this hard enough this time? Don't think so. Wow. No. The miss Mark Davis for. So, as I say, with, with the. Twenty nine in it. A red and a pink or red and a black and uh, yep, okay. Dot would need a snooker. Although I'd rather keep missing it than leave it leave a pot on. This is harder. And he has hit it. Good shot.
Well, this is a definite chance. It's already 29 points in front. And it's in. Now, it needs to be on a colour. One. Well, I think the snooker's favourite. He could put a colour safe. Just make it harder for Graham Dot if he were to get a chance. Looks like that's what he's doing with the green. Or trying to. He didn't quite get it to the cushion, but uh, he's pretty much got the snooker. And that's not good for Graham Dot. That uh, looks like end of frame. The red is all Mark Davis needs. One. That pink uh, should make absolutely sure. So he's done well here. He looked a bit edgy first frame. Graham Seven. Dot was coming out, going for everything. But Mark Davis uh, looks like he's got this frame on the board. Three snookers needed. Mark Davis Dot Seven. just deciding whether to play on or not. And he is doing. If he potted yellow, green and brown, and it's a great two. pot on the yellow, then it would be two snookers to tie on the blue. Well, that was an attempt at a snooker, two. I think, but uh, didn't get too close. And this doesn't help his cause. Could hit the pink here or miss everything. <coughs> yeah, good hit. And that should be that. Three. In this third frame, anyway. Yeah. Twelve. Last frame was half an hour. This one was 23 Twelve. minutes. They've both gone to Mark Davis. So he... So Graham Dot has attacked, but uh, at the moment he's not working. He's 2-1 down. <coughs> player rather than fairly tarnished by the quality of his world final victory over Peter Ebden. It wasn't a great match, it was a late match, a long match. But as he said, it takes two to tango. Certainly subsequently to that at the Crucible, he's been a much more fluent player. Played better, I think, in 2010 when he lost to Neil Robertson in the final. But all round in the tournament, his performances were better actually than when he won it. Oh, hang on, this is close. I suspect it'll be in shortly. It's just a question of landing on a colour. <coughs> Got to negotiate the full 12 feet here. One. Yeah, it's always tricky, that, and he's not really on anything. Neil Robertson won that other frame, so 2-2 two, two on the other table. Table 1. Meanwhile, Dot just playing safe. Playing Dot 1.
Caught them well. It's a good shot. Got exactly the sort of contact he was looking for on the reds. Thin. It's made this more awkward for Dot. Queuing from the ball cushion and he's missed oh, them. And he missed. Now, is this going to be a free ball? No, because he's not snookered. Mark Davis for. I think he's got to go back though. He's not left anything on. And if Dot were to miss this time, of course, he would be warned that a third miss results in forfeiture of the frame. And of course, sure, mate, I think Graham, isn't it? in this contest, it will be the match as well. So it gets interesting if he misses this time. Just a slight adjustment needed. You often see in this situation the players miss first time because what they don't want to do is catch it too thick. So erring on the side of caution, more likely to be no contact at all. And for that reason, you expect a slight adjustment that he would hit it this time. Well, he hasn't, so everything I just said becomes pertinent. Except to say, I think this is a free ball. Mark Davis, four, free ball. Now, is it any use to Davis, or will he have it put back again? No easy pots on, but, uh, well, could take the green or the brown. Would count, of course, as an extra red. Or could just have the white replaced where it was. Decision time. I think he's decided to take the free ball. Green. Nominated green. Playing it to the corner. Good shot. And it'll be green again. One. I've been impressed with Davis really since uh, he was shut out the first frame. He's uh, not panicked, he's not really gone to the back foot, he's playing positive snooker. Two frames he won were pretty scrappy. One was half an hour, the other 22 minutes, but even so, he won them. That's uh, all he's bothered about. And this is a good scoring chance. He'd like to be able to get the black going to both corners, though, pretty soon, rather than keep going up for the blue. The problem with playing for the blue, you can finish wrong side of it, and it becomes more complicated. But he's the right side of it here. Seventeen.
Rose is starting to look like a decent chance to win it. Although with the pink going on the brown spot, not necessarily a help. As I say, the ideal thing would be to get the black into play. Well, he knew he'd be calling in into reds there. The black presumably doesn't go. 24. In which case, uh, that's looking like end of break, although reds have gone everywhere. Which makes it trouble for Davis to find a hiding place for the white. Red certainly onto the right middle. There's another one towards the fault line. Is he going to take the blue on? He might have to. Big shot this. Brilliant. That is brilliant. He had to get it. He knew he'd be leaving the red to the right middle. That could be the key to Mark Davis winning his first point of the day. That was such a well-cued, well-struck shot. Thirty. Just got to keep going. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Lead forty-three. Forty-one. Play for the pink here and get it back on its spot. Well, blue will 42. do. That's just a question of uh, getting on the right red here. Uh, they seem to be rather covering one another. Playing a delicate little cannon. Uh, it's not great. It's not great at all. 47. By 54, still plenty on. Safety, take the cue ball back down to Bulk and wait for another Mark chance. Davis, 47. Good 47. So. Could have done without the kiss on the blue not least because he's knocked it safe he'll, he'll need it dot if he's going to win this frame now davis i think is uh, lining up the pot here tough one played it with a heavy degree of safety in mind but uh, we want it to bounce away from this corner it's a great blue he potted and uh, at that point, it looked like that might be the match-winning shot, but uh, Dot has come back to the table, in fact. Oh, again, he's caught the blue. Not too bad again, white awkward, but uh, safety's been a little lax, Graham Dot, and you don't often say that.
one. Well, that was pretty emphatic, but a lot of work to do here. Red's awkward. And the 53-point lead Mark Davis holds is a good lead, considering the position of the balls on the table. Well, slowly but surely he's starting to work them out. gets harder and harder though after this one which isn't guaranteed to go 17. in 17 certainly the two on the left hand side of the table are going to need some work Eighteen. well the black obviously goes which helps This puts him 29 behind, with 51 on. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Big shot coming up then, can he get the reds into a potable position off this black. Well, he's played to pop the one, in fact, uh, down the cushion, so... Well, it's fair enough if he can do that. Probably a good positional shot, because that was right for going wrong. There wasn't much margin for error. He had to get the white pretty much where it is. Now he's got to pot it, and he has done. Well, this could be a great clearance. 34. Still the problem of brown and blue, but uh, he's got himself right back into contention. Still the problem of the last red, for that matter. Forty one. Yeah, it was a tough, and tough clearance, and he has now broken down, but he's got himself right back into it. Thirteen in it. Mark Davis, though, still in the stronger position because uh, at the moment he's not going to need the blue, certainly. He won't need the brown if he takes a high value colour off the red. And this is just about a snooker, I think.
That's a great shot. The problem he's got is he'll probably be in trouble again, but even so, it was a good hit. Didn't want to go with pace and have the red running around the table. Could have, left, could have left it. That would have been end of match. Didn't hit that hard enough. Hence, Doc can see the red. <coughs> now, I wonder if Davis will take this on. He's 13 in front. If it goes in, it could be all over. Well, there's your answer. Clean as a whistle. Terrific. One. Similar, really, other side of the table, but similar to the blue he knocked in off its spot in the previous frame. So, a chance to win. He leads by 14. The blue makes it 19, or the brown 18. Either way, he'll need yellow and green as well. Just a question of manufacturing the angle here, I think, to get out for the yellow. I had to leave it to the middle. Another glance at the scoreboard. It tells him that yellow and green put him 24 in front with 22 on. Oh dear. Not I'll good. This six. Well... 2-2 two, two beckons. Brown to blue is where it might go wrong. But it hasn't, so surely Graham Dot's going to force a decider. Fourteen. It was a big shot on the yellow. I can understand exactly why he took it on, Mark Davis, but uh, he didn't get it. Twenty. Well, he's just overrun position here to be ideal on the black. He's still... Got a shot at it, but it's harder than it should have been. A little bit of pressure on this. Not guaranteed to go in. He's up. He doesn't like the shot. Just steadying himself. And now he's back down on it. But the same applies. He's got to pot it. And he has. That's a great shot in the end. And a good clearance. And Graham Dot takes us all the way. It's 2-2. Well, Mark Davis uh, has got to do it all again. He led 2-1, but it's now 2-2. Two, two.
Well, that's opened things up. He played the white back uh, to safety, but a red is on here to the left corner. It's got the full length of the table, though. the table just slightly drifted there didn't seem too impressed So, chance for Mark Davis then. Had a couple in the last frame. It was, uh, well in front, 54 in front. But Graham Dodd eventually cleared yellow to black. Three. Well, the ready just cannon is still on. It's not helped here by the fact the Nineteen. pink's gone on the cushion, but uh, black and blue still on their spots. This still needs good queuing, though. And uh, it is good queuing. 20. Just noticed another red out there. Lead goes to 20. Well, he was in a similar position in the last frame, just couldn't quite kill it off. 25. Remember, he lost his first match this morning, 3-0 to Sean Murphy. Graham Dot won his first match, 3-0 against Matthew Stevens. Thirty-two. Nice 
nice uh, aggressive shot, but uh, this is going to need good queuing again. Got reds open. 39. That's nicely done. So this match is uh, at his mercy. Mark Davis yes. has battled hard in this match. Could have won 3-1, but this is a great chance to wrap it up 3-2. 48. I think he wanted to come past that red, really, but uh, he's on this one to the right middle. He's just shaking his 55. head. As if to say, why make things complicated? You want to keep things as simple as you can. Well done. Just 56. took a deep breath there, didn't he? And... Then got down and knocked it in. So the blue puts him 61 in front with 75 on. Well, it's his favourite position, six reds. Red, blue. 61. Red should be enough. But this red isn't in yet. It's a little thin, this. Got to give everything to the pot here. Concentrate on the pot. That's terrific. Now slow down or kiss a bolt colour. 62. Uh, it's not great, so it's going to have to be the snooker. Could push a colour safe. Or could just roll up to the brown. Looks like he's going to put the green safe. That's a bit of security. 62 in front. 67 on. Mark Davis, 62. And he's played a good shot. He doesn't want to nudge a red out. Touching ball. Well, if it's touching, then uh, he can't pop the red, I don't think, to the left corner. Touching. Touching. But it's easy enough to play away. Just looking for a hiding place here, and uh, looking to put uh, Ram Dot in some trouble. Well, in fact, he's pushing the yellow save, so that's a clever shot. He's got the green save issue, he's got the yellow on the cushion. Graham Dot's got problems. Well, it's worked out not too bad, actually. He went careered into them. not quite sure what he was expecting to happen, but uh, could have left something a lot easier than this. Yeah, that wasn't uh, guaranteed. So 62 the difference. 67 available. OK, yellow and green safe, but the match isn't uh, anywhere near over yet. Graham Dot will give this everything, you can guarantee that. <coughs> Attempting to pot it, stay on the black. Feeling couldn't leave too much if you missed. So close, that would have been uh, pretty much frame a match.
because Doc would have needed a snooker. Didn't go in though, so still chances, although it's an awkward table from Dot's point of view, were he to get in. Be very hard to clear up in one visit. It's not the best shot he's ever played. He has freed the yellow, but I think this red may cut to the middle. And again, it's pretty much frame and match ball. Yeah. We would like to get on a colour. One. But uh, at the moment, Dot does need a snooker. Well, he may as well try and pop something here. Brown to the middle is tough. Pink cuts. Pink's in, and the match is over, I suggest. It'll be Mark Davis's first win from two matches. Same record as Graham Dot now, won one, lost one. Davis has got both Neil Robertson and Matthew Stevens tonight. Graham Dot, a match against Ryan Day. There's the handshake, and there's the victory for Hastings... Mark Davis used to a battle and he's won this one by three frames to two.